Hey, Batty and Business family, and welcome to today's free course all about how to sell digital products. This video will be a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to start a successful business selling digital products. So get ready to take some notes and let's get right into today's free course. I love digital products because it only really takes you a couple hours to actually design one. And you can then sell that digital product unlimited amounts of times over the next five to 10 years. You are not just creating a digital product, but you are creating a digital asset that is going to create passive income for you over a long span of time. And if you're going to be using the free traffic sources that I'm going to be teaching to you in this free course, your profit margins will be close to 100%. So why should you sell a digital product? I love the business model of selling digital products and they are very beginner friendly for someone that's new to e-commerce. It's very easy to get started and there's little to no investment needed to start. I love digital products because there's no inventory needed. I also love digital products because they do have high profit margins. Here's what you're going to learn in today's free course. I'm going to be explaining in depth what a digital product is. I'm going to be giving you the different types of digital products. I'm going to be showing you how to find the right product to sell for you. I'm going to be showing you how to create your own digital product. I'm going to show you how to set up your online store. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to market and get sales. People do charge thousands of dollars for courses just like this one. All I ask in return for the free education is just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses just like this. Remember that my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. When you sell a physical product, there's definitely more costs involved, such as product cost, shipping, and other random fees if you are actually holding inventory and the products yourself. Although with digital products, you are not having to actually do that. So when you make a sale, you are keeping almost all of that money from that customer. So what is a digital product? A digital product, as you know, is a non-physical product. Even though you're not physically holding it, it's still a product that people can use and purchase. Just like how a lot of physical products fulfill a need or want in someone's life, you're doing the same exact thing with digital products, especially as our world is becoming even more digital as we know it. So there are many different types of digital products you can sell. Ebooks, PDF guides, printables, templates, planners, recipes, courses, tutorials and guides, consulting, games, and so much more. Remember that your digital product has to have value. It has to solve a problem in some way and provide the buyer with something. And this doesn't have to be strictly educational. You can provide value with entertainment, although usually a more educational type of digital products do tend to make more money, are the ones that focus on a specific problem that you can solve. It doesn't have to be life-changing, but the value has to be there. Now, with all of these different ideas of digital products, how do you find the right digital product to sell for you? I know everyone watching this video right now has something they either do or are interested in doing. Just like with every single business model that I teach on my YouTube channel, whether you are starting an online business or becoming a content creator, you need to pick a niche. And I'm gonna help you brainstorm this right now. I got you. I want you to think of it like this. No matter who you are, I know that there's something that you know that other people might not know. Even if you are someone that you're really great at creating PowerPoints, or creating flyers on Canva. You can start teaching others about how to actually do this. You can start teaching others how to use Canva. And you can start selling tons of digital products in relation to this topic. Your niche doesn't have to be revolutionary. It just has to be necessary. I think that's the biggest issue that some of you guys face is you get way too hung up on trying to find a niche that is going to be life-changing or that you're trying to find the most special thing to start. And in reality, it can be something really so simple. You like to cook? You can sell a digital cookbook. You are a mom? You can sell printable games for kids. Games for other moms and families to use. You can create templates, guides, and so many others. The only thing that you need to do while watching this is you need to decide on what that is going to be. And the rest of this free course will actually show you how to bring that vision to life and start selling these digital products. As you are trying to decide what you wanna sell, you first need to decide who your audience is. Who is the ideal person that will be buying this digital product? 
by you thinking in this way, this will help you to create and figure out what that product's gonna be. Have that ideal type of person in mind who's gonna like or want this digital product. During this process, one of the best things you can do is research what's already out there. So whatever you have in mind right now that you're thinking about doing, this is what I want you to do. I want you to search profiles on TikTok using the TikTok search. Search for profiles on Instagram. Do a search on Pinterest. And I can almost guarantee that you are going to find other profiles in this specific niche that you're thinking of that you can look at for inspiration and examples. By seeing how other people are marketing their own digital products or what type of digital products they're selling, you'll gain many ideas this way. Now, of course, we are not out here trying to copy anybody, but you can still look at what other people are doing for examples and get inspiration for your own. So now that we've brainstormed what digital product's gonna be right for you, now let's jump in and I'm going to be showing you how to actually create a digital product. So for today's video, I will be designing a PDF ebook. This is one of the easiest digital products that you can make and something that you can easily sell to your customers. So to create this today, we are going to be using Canva. I use Canva for so many different things for my online business, so it's so worth learning how it works. And it's very user-friendly for beginners too. So Canva actually has an entire range of free templates that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and type in ebook and see what comes up. So look how many ebook templates you have here to choose from. Something that you also want to search for is A4 templates ebook. This will pull up even more templates you can choose from. If you are wanting to do a longer ebook with lots of information, definitely look for a template that has multiple pages. So you can do this just by scrolling over the little numbers on the lower left hand side right here and check the little numbering tab. I like finding ones with multiple pages because you can see more of the layouts this way. So then you just have more to work with. I love this one. So just click customize this template right here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just upload a photo of myself for this. And you don't have to upload a photo of yourself, just upload a photo that is in relation to the topic. And I, first thing I'm gonna do is just change the color here because I want the colors to pop and I also want it to match um, the jacket that I'm wearing in this photo. Now you obviously don't have to, and you don't even have to change these things if you don't want to. I just have a certain vision for how I personally want this to be. So. If you ever need any graphics, you can go to the elements tab right here and just type in whatever you need. So they have lots of different things you can use. I'm just gonna change the font up a little bit and just make it more bold so it's able to be seen more easily. So just move the text around as much as you want, add whatever you need to add to make this exactly how you need it. I'm actually creating a digital product about an entire email list for UGC creators to get in touch with brands. UGC is another awesome side hustle that you can start doing with zero dollars. And I do have a free course for it on my YouTube channel if you wanna learn about it. I wanted to make this digital product cause I really feel like it'll help with beginners and UGC. So this digital product is fulfilling a need that I couldn't really even put in a YouTube video since these are actual email lists. So it's not something that I could really do a video on. So I was like, I got you guys, I'm gonna make a digital product on this today. So once you're done with the cover page, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna scroll down to the next page and I'm gonna use this one. I like how it's just laid out very simple and that's just all we need for this. So I'm just gonna change up what I need to change. I'm changing the text, I'm gonna change the color. And what I'm actually doing after this is I'm just clicking duplicate page. So for the next page, I don't have to like redo this all over again. So whenever you have exactly what you're looking for, just click duplicate page so then you don't have to keep like redoing the same thing over and over again. So I actually just typed up my digital product in a Word document first. And right now I'm just gonna copy this over and put it in the actual digital product. So you can copy this and paste it here. I'm also bolding everything because I just want it to stand out and I'm making it as big as I possibly can. So I'm just gonna do one of just so you guys see how I organized this. I had one page for fashion brands and the next page I'm making for beauty brands. So let's get that looking good. And now I'm just gonna go to elements and I'm just searching makeup to find relevant graphics for this PDF. So I'm just um, putting those here. I'm doing the same thing for the fashion brands one. I just looked up fashion and elements and just found some cute free clip art I can use in this digital product. And there we have it. So it's looking really good. And you guys can see this is very basic. It's just three pages. Um, now I actually did add more to this. 
I'm just not showing it right now because then I don't want you guys to be sitting here watching me do all of it, it's not necessary. So I'm um, gonna do the rest of the digital product off screen. So when you are done, just go up to the share button on the upper right hand side, go to download and you're gonna change where it says PNG, you're gonna change it to PDF standard because we're actually making this a PDF document and all pages are here. So when you're done, just click download. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our final product. You guys can see this is nothing fancy or crazy. It's just a simple template and design packed with value for the person that's gonna be getting this. If you do too many graphics or try to make it look too fancy, it can take away for the actual reason why people bought it. So I personally love to keep things straight and simple. So I think this looks really awesome and we literally made this in less than 10 minutes. Obviously me finding all these emails took a lot longer than 10 minutes, but actually putting it together and getting it together only took 10 minutes. So while we're on Canva, this is another thing that I want you to search while you're here. I want you to go back to the Canva search and type in lay flat mock-up. Scroll down and you can see here they have so many different mock-ups. Now you can use these for social media posts or even your actual website. I like using mock-ups because you can just take a picture of your cover photo and put it on an iPad, and then the customer is visually seeing how they are going to receive the product. So it's not just, you know, just your cover photo, like they're actually a little bit more understanding of how they're gonna see it. So like if you're selling a planner, you can use one of these mock-ups and it'll actually look like, okay, like that's how it's gonna look on my iPad when I use it. So it's just good for psychology when you're actually selling the product and posting it on your social media sites too. So let's find a good mock-up. This one was my favorite one that stood out to me at the moment. So let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. You can either screenshot the cover photo or just download it as a single PNG. It'll save as an actual photo. So then you can upload the photo into this Canva template and put it right on the iPad. Then just change up whatever you need to change up on the screen for this template. In less than five minutes, you just created a mock-up that you are gonna use to actually get sales on this digital product. Make sure you stay here till the end of this video because that's when I'm gonna actually start talking about how you're gonna get sales for this digital product. Also, just a quick tip, if you are looking for a good title for your digital product and you just cannot figure it out, don't sleep on ChatGPT. You can go to ChatGPT and it's literally free to use and just type in whatever you're creating your digital product about so let's just do a random one. I'm just gonna type in, give me titles for an ebook about how to get sales for your online business. And literally in a second, it will give you so many different options that you can use for titles. And these titles are actually really awesome too. So now that you have designed and created your digital product, now it's time to get your digital product out there so you can start promoting it and getting sales. So one popular hosting website that a lot of digital product goovers will tell you to use is this one called Gumroad. I personally don't recommend this one since they do take 10% of every sale. Even though it's free to post your products on here, that 10% flat rate will add up a lot over time, especially once you start making thousands of dollars. I personally recommend having your own website that you have complete control over. The website host that I recommend for using digital products is called Hostinger. And Hostinger actually has an AI website builder. So don't worry about having to pay anybody to create your website for you. I am so excited to show you how this works because just the fact that you can use AI now to build your own websites is actually insane. So if you look in my description box right below this video, there will be a link for Hostinger that you can use. And once you are there, it will bring you to this page. And by the way, if you don't have a computer, you can actually follow along with this tutorial on your mobile phone too. So out of all of the online store hosting platforms out there, not only is this platform the most affordable, but it provides the most features. The business plan comes with a five times increased performance, which is crucial for online stores. It also comes with a lot of marketing tools too, which can help you to optimize your website and help attract even more customers to make those sales. So let's just say you're gonna go with the business plan. Click on that, then go down here and where it says, do you have a coupon code? Just type in this code, Batty in Business, for even more money off on top of this already discounted pricing. So once you're done with that, you'll come to this page where you can start building your website. This is very simple to use and I'm gonna show you how to use the AI website builder. So go ahead and just click on AI builder and just click select. 
it's gonna bring you to this page where you are going to claim your free domain. So a free domain does come with this website host and the plan that we picked, which is super awesome. So type in whatever you want here, or if you already have an existing domain, you can connect that here. Once you're done, you're gonna just fill out your other details. Then it's gonna bring you back to the website builder. So it says here, let AI create you a website in minutes. I'm excited. So just click on this button here that says start creating. So here in this section, it's gonna ask for your brand name. So we're gonna put body and business, your website type, we're gonna select online store and your description. So I just typed in a website where I'm selling eBooks and guides on the topic of entrepreneurship with the goal to uplift, inspire and educate others to go after, oh, over their dreams. I meant after, but it's okay. <laughs> they should understand what I mean. So in this description box, you're going to fill out all the details about what you are using this for and what you are selling. So write as much as you can here about your website and the more descriptive you are with the AI, the better. So now we're gonna wait for the AI to generate our website. You can actually see what it's working on as it's working, which is really cool. I love this because you are not having to start a website from scratch or pay anyone to set it up for you. It can definitely be a process trying to figure out what layouts to use or what templates to use. Even though Hostinger does have over 150 templates you can use, it can definitely be overwhelming at first. So I really love how this is all done for us by this Hostinger AI website builder. So in less than a few minutes, AI has built my website. I want you to think of AI as a coworker. Your coworker just created this website for you, but now you're gonna put your own custom spin on it and make it even more personalized to what you love. So I'm gonna show you how to customize it here. So on the left side here, you can see all the different options for colors, text, buttons, and animations. So let's go ahead and, and change the color here. And I'm also just changing the text up a little bit too. I'm uploading a photo of myself. And if you click on this plus button here, it adds elements. This is on the upper left-hand side. And I'm just clicking this shape button because I wanna add a shape behind me. Cause you guys can see it looks a little weird with like just my photo. So I'm just like dragging this as big as I can. And I'm actually clicking send it back. So this is now behind my photo. And I'm just gonna make it a circle so it just looks more cohesive on the site. And you can just drag everything by just resizing it to whatever you need. Now that I see my jacket with the background, I kind of want the background the same color as my jacket in this photo. So let's go back to colors and make this a light purple color. So when you find a color that you like in this, just click accept. And I'm just gonna change this up to something different. So you can just click over it and type in whatever you want here. And I'm typing in here to uplift, inspire, and educate. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna drag everything upwards because I want this to kind of be on the top of the website, but I don't want it to take over like the full page. So what you can do is actually drag these graphics upwards and then scroll down and you will see, you can actually just drag this whole bar up. So now you have like a little bit of a better header. So when somebody's on your website, they're gonna actually see the content in your online store better this way because we want people on our websites buying stuff, not just on our websites looking at things. So let me show you the rest of the features here. If you go back over to the left-hand side here, you can click on this little layer button. And what this is, is pages and navigation. So click on add page. And here we can actually add an about me page, which is what a lot of um, websites will have. So we're just adding an about me page here and they already have templates that you can use. So I'm just gonna select one of these templates and in the name and navigation, I'm just changing about to about me since this website is gonna be more for like my personal branded website. Then just click save. So if you guys go to the left-hand side here, there's a little like shopping bag icon. Click on that and that's gonna bring you to your online store. So you will see all of the sample products that they have for you here. So just click on manage products or edit one of these products. Now we're going to name our online store. So I'm gonna name it Batty and Business. So I'm gonna name it Batty and Business Store. Click continue. I'm just gonna select my country here with the USD for what customers will see it as on the website. Click continue. Now just click add product. So where it says images here, you are gonna select the image and this is gonna be what your customers will see as the product image. Here in the title, you can name your product. So let's write a title for our product. 
You can write a ribbon, like if you want it to say new. And I love this because you can actually use AI to write a product description for you. You just have to tell AI exactly what you want. Scroll down and this is where you're gonna set the pricing and we don't need to add quantity because it's a digital product, unlimited quantity. And right here is where you're gonna actually upload the file of the digital product you are selling. So let's upload that digital file here and then just click save. Now I'm just gonna go through and just delete all of these extra sample products. We don't need them, obviously. They're just for your own reference. So you'll be able to see your orders here when they come in, you can adjust. You can add discounts here on this tab. And if you guys click on store settings, you can see here, this is very important because this is where you're gonna actually get the payments. So you can connect PayPal here, you can connect Stripe or manual payment on this page. So definitely make sure you don't skip over that because that's how you're gonna actually get paid. So now let's make sure with that we add the online store tab to the top or the front of your actual website. Because when people are on my website, I like them to see the products right away, not just under the shop tab like you can see here. So just go back to the main front of the page and just click on add section right here. And you are gonna be able to add your online store here. Just click on product list. And now you can see your products are right under your banner on your actual website. By the way, you can click on this little phone tab on the top here to actually see how your website's gonna look in mobile too, which is so important because 90% of people that are on your website are probably gonna be on their actual mobile phones. So definitely prioritize customizing how your website's gonna look on mobile. So what I do is I just go back and forth. I look at the mobile tab and I look at my computer view and I do both at the same time. So don't forget to do that to make sure that your mobile site looks awesome as well. So just go through all of your pages, make sure that everything is what you want. You can also connect your socials down here just by type by tapping edit social icons. And you can just type in whatever your social media is to connect people straight to those pages if you need to. And remember, this is the fun part, play around with it and just try out different things until you find what's gonna be best for you. So when you're ready to launch your website and go live and start getting sales, just click the go live button on the upper right hand side here and now your website is ready to go. So congratulations, you just built your own website in less than 10 minutes. Again, like we are just going through this so smoothly. This is amazing. And you guys, look how awesome this looks. So you can see your website here, you have your banner on top, you have your first digital product posted, and you can click on this too to see like how this looks. And I personally think this looks awesome. I can't believe how easy it actually was to do this with the Hostinger AI website builder. This would have took such more of a longer time without that. So now that we've brainstormed our niche, we created a digital product, we made an online store. Now I'm gonna talk about one of the most important parts, which is how you're gonna actually get sales. Now remember, you can have the most amazing digital product in the world, but if you do not know how to get it out there and how to promote properly, you're just simply not gonna get sales. No one's gonna even know it exists if you are not out there promoting it. Now, you definitely do not have to be some sort of influencer with millions of followers to get sales on your digital products. We are in this era of social media now where you do not need a huge following to be successful and make money online. So as a beginner, I personally love using Pinterest. This is because Pinterest is actually a search engine and you can link your digital product page through links using Pinterest. When you go to post a pin, you'll see that there's an option to put a link here and you can add your product page right here. Of course, I personally love Instagram and TikTok because I feel like you have such a good chance to go viral when you are creating video content. Now remember, this is a digital product. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I create content for digital products? Like, do I just like post screenshots of the product? No, you are going to get on your computer, put your phone behind you. You can actually show yourself, like you don't have to show your face, but you can show yourself actually viewing the digital products and just like make a video like that. Like um, me, when I just bought this digital product talking about how to become an influencer or like whatever you're doing the product about, you can portray it in a way to make it marketable. So you're not just like posting a boring screenshot video of your product. Like TikTok's not gonna show that, Instagram Reels is not gonna show that. But if you're just getting a little bit more creative with how you're making the videos, you will see a huge difference. And you may even gain a huge audience 
from starting to do your videos this way. Make sure that when you are marketing on social media, you have pages that are dedicated to this niche or topic. I do not wanna see you guys on your personal pages where you post your kids and your dogs posting content about your digital products because first of all, TikTok and Instagram, they will not know who to show this content too. If you stay consistent in a niche, you use the same hashtags every time, you use the same wording every time, your profile reflects what you are doing, TikTok and Instagram are more likely to push your content out there to the right people that are wanting to see and buy your digital products. Make sure that you have a link in your bio to your digital product store, of course, and constantly be funneling people there. You have to start thinking of social media as a funnel. And remember that no matter how much time you put into video editing, no matter how much time you put into these social media accounts, this is a direct investment of your time. And you have to recognize it this way. Even if your first 10 videos are flops, you're learning every single time you make a new video and are promoting your product. You can of course make mock-ups and post them on Pinterest and get sales this way with just a photo since Pinterest is very photo friendly. But in my personal experience, if you wanna go from zero to making 10,000 plus a month, focus on video content. That was personally the game changer for me and how I became a millionaire in two years was honestly, it just boiled down to how I was creating content and how I was marketing my businesses through creating social media video content creation. Now, I do not want you guys to expect to go from zero to a million in a month. It doesn't work that way. Just like with any business, you have to try and fail some things before you see success. Don't compare your journey to anybody else's journey. And just keep this in mind as you are starting if you are a beginner. I tried so many different things until I found what actually worked for me. So don't be afraid to try and experiment different things. This is why I love digital products because you can start with little to no money and it can definitely turn into a full-time income and you can kind of try out and test out different products without actually holding an actual product in your hand inventory, which is basically in my eyes risk-free. Something else that you can do is provide free education. Give people some free digital products. If you are getting people on your site and you're giving them something for free, they're a lot more likely to buy from you in the future. At first, they might not know who you are or what you're selling or if you're a scam or not a scam. So if you're giving out free products on your store or products for one cent, they're gonna receive that product and want more from you. So this is another tactic that you can use to get more sales down the line and build relationships with your audience. This way, people aren't feeling like you're just trying to force a course or try to sell them something because nobody wants to feel like they're being sold something. You wanna make people feel like they're getting value from you. So as you are on your journey of marketing, I really hope these tips help. If you're new here, my channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. I do have videos specifically about how to create short form video content, how to go viral, and so much more in relation to this topic as well. So definitely don't sleep on those courses. I do have a free marketing course dedicated just to what I just talked about too. So definitely check that one out too. It's on my YouTube channel in my 100% free courses playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned lots from today's free course. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses just like this. Wishing you all the best with your online business ventures and selling your digital products. And I will see you guys in my next free course. Bye everyone.